Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Jump low, baby. Y'all already know. Hey. Hey. Big now be coming soon, man. Promise. Promise. Y'all already know I'm about that unification bout and all that and shit, but you know, Anthony Joshua, Joseph Walker, I'm on unification. But you know, this is boxing, there ain't nobody safe, especially the heavyweight division. Lewis Ortiz, ain't nobody safe. So you just never know. So y'all can't, y'all stay clean. I'm coming. I'm coming. Because 2017, I swear to God, I'm trying to get your body. Trust me, I ain't playing around with nobody. But y'all will find out. USA versus everybody. And if you ain't fucking with that, hey. Boxing Eagle, I'm with Troy King. He yawning. Heavyweight division. Did you get to see Joshua Klitschko? Yeah, I seen it. I didn't watch the fight, but I seen the highlights. What'd you um, think from what you seen? I think I think Joshua put a lot of pressure on him, and then that the Chris go through the A, the youth kicked in. But uh, Deontay Wilder, that that Wilder Joshua, who wins? Fifty Cent just said that Joshua need because Floyd said that he'll teach Josh. He's Floyd was in the UK for his mm -hmm. fighter Tank Davis, and Floyd said he'll teach AJ some defense, and Fifty Cent said. You, he don't need defense, he need a gun to fight Wilder. Yeah, pretty much. He would have to learn a high level of defense to be able to deal with Wilder. And who would you, who would you lean towards if they were to fight at the end of the I year? I would definitely lean towards Wilder because... Why, he, why definitely? Uh, because he's darker. He's a dark-skinned person, and that's not even a word. No, I'm joking. No, that might, because from what I seen from uh, Joshua, he is uh, he doesn't uh, he doesn't know how to get away from the right hand yet, and that's the weapon of Deontay Wilder, and he hits everybody with the right hand, and when you get hit with it, you don't know how to act. So, what do you mean, Del to to the fans that don't know what you mean? You don't know how to act. What do you mean? Uh, when you get hit, you be all over the fucking place, like you drunk at a party, and you don't want to be drunk at the party. But then somebody going... And he about an inch taller than Joshua. He tall, he, he, I think he more than an inch because I thought he was I thought he was closer in height to, to Klitschko. And Klitschko was way kind of like more no taller. Bigger. Yeah, and, and, and Deontay Water, I think it was like 6'7 or some shit like that. And I seen him in person. He's, he's, he's tall. Tall. Um... I gotta go with Okay, what about the people that say Wilder, like if you look at some of his, his performances, like Gerald Washington, he was losing early rounds, Archer Spilka was yeah. competitive. What about if he were to fight Joshua? No, it wouldn't be like that because he would take the fight it's serious. He wouldn't play around. See, people casual fans, So you think he's playing around in some of those fights? Some of the fights he's playing around because you got to understand he didn't do none of that shit against Bermain Stavern. Why not? Because Bermain Stavern is it's serious. Real? It's real. He's real. And he knew he's he could? He's a real piece of paper with ink on it. With words. That mean I'll beat your ass if you don't take this shit serious. Melt to you with two stamps. So if you don't, oh, if you open that letter and read it, you know what's coming. So you gotta be serious. So you, got, you think Wilder would up his game for? He would uh, up his game. Based kind of like Terrence Crawford in there with Felix Diaz. When you're that comfortable in there, you know you know who you could play with. You know who you could put pressure on to take punches from. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, for a better better uh, example, Golovkin. Was he in there trying to take punches from David Lemieux on some? Oh yeah, I let the guy he just punch me. No, no, no. Yeah. Why not? Because David Lemieux would have punched his lights out. It's not something. Good. Danny Jacobs would have fucked him up. You don't take punches and play around with them type of fighters. They'll fuck you up. So that's the difference between like fighting Willie Monroe versus like a David Lemieux or Jacobs. Yeah. Even with Willie Monroe. All right, bro. No, you can get it on this camera. Most that. Head trainer, head fit. I much respect my dog, man. Yeah, yeah. My man, Cole. But yeah, um, 
So basically, you have to adjust and know what to do and yeah, who to do it of with. Of course, because Ali never played with with Joe Frazier, and Spots he did, because Ali is a showman. But like when he, he was in there with the, with the with the um, Chuck Webners and all them, he would just play with them cats. They was nowhere fucking on the level of Ali, so he would do shit to play with them. You know what I'm saying? Mentally break them down, then get the ass out of there. But but Joe Frazier, Thriller, he would he would do little shit, but he wouldn't be not playing. to the extent. Not to the extent of how Wilder and them be doing like jumping, throwing pun. Like he's clearly joking. He would never do that against Bermain, uh, King Kong, or Joshua. He would take that shit serious. So you gotta know that. So you're leaning towards Josh. I'm leaning towards Joshua Wilder. Wilder, you're leaning. Wilder, yeah. I mean Joshua Wilder. I'm leaning towards Deontay Wilder. Stop it? Uh, yeah. Stop it. Because Klitschko almost got him out of there. And Deontay Wilder is stronger than Klitschko. Yeah, I'm going to say he's stronger, but he has more power. His record clearly states that. Now, I was at your crib, and we were watching some highlights of another heavyweight, Cannon Briggs. We were looking at them body shots. Yeah, I heard. And I heard then, there's a situation with him. I guess he had elevated levels of testosterone, they're saying, on the VADA test. What, what do you think about that? At 45 years old, his fight got canceled. I mean, if you eat organic, if you eat organic food and doing the things that he say he do, that, that's going to happen. Did, did they say what was in his system? No, nah, they just said, like, the, the average person, according, like, has a 4 to 1 ratio of on testosterone. His age? At his uh, no. age, yeah, yeah, and I guess his was seven to one, so it was like a, it was like almost double the average person. Um, but we're waiting for Cannon Briggs to come out with this statement to hear his side, of course. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying he did or he didn't. I'm just saying that I know one thing: if you're eating what you're supposed to be eating, your testosterone is gonna be where it's supposed to be. It's all about the food you put in your diet, but who knows? You know, nobody knows. But they're going to try to shit on him anyway. But they ain't going to try to shit on the other fighters who can actually be Ooh, getting Pavekin. fucking... Yes, who actually gets caught on actual steroids when they take hair samples. Of course, you can't take a hair sample from Briggs on his head because he ain't got no fucking hair up. You, you can actually take it from his beard, though. You know, I don't know if that's the same, but... Bruh, uh, you know, wait till the test come back. You got to say what he on. You, just saying somebody has elevated... Um, level of testosterone is not enough to actually say he was on something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we need to know what he actually was taking. Who's the best heavyweight right now? Deontay Water and, and, and Luis Ortiz. And then Anthony Joshua. But Luis Ortiz and Deontay Wilder, I would give them like a neck and neck. What about Joshua? They're saying there's a lot of money in the Joshua Klitschko rematch, so they might they're trying to get an extension so Joshua doesn't have to fight Kubrat Pulev is mandatory and they might push for the money fight and yeah, give Klitschko a rematch. That makes sense. What happens in the rematch? Joshua Klitschko. Just it might Klitschko. be a little bit more difficult, but Klitschko for who? Need for for um for Joshua. It'll be more difficult even though he knocked him out? Yeah, even though it was still difficult. He didn't just get him out no, of No, I know it was difficult the yeah, first yeah, fight. But, but it he... might be more difficult because Klitschko wasn't, wouldn't be surprised by what Anthony Joshua was bringing to the table. You see what I'm saying? So it, it might, it could be different. And if and you know that Joshua going to be coming at him hard and aggressive like that, he might be you know, better off the back foot. You know what I'm saying? Could be better. So who knows? Now, who do, you, who do you like from history in the heavyweight division? What heavyweight kind of first name that comes to mind that you really like? Um, heavyweight? Yeah. Come to my mind? Throughout history. Throughout history? Ali, of course. Because don't nobody fight like him, and I don't know why the fighters don't want to fight like him. But as you can see, that was a, Ali's fighting style was a, was a recipe for winning because he fought like a little guy. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be in there throwing big bombs. It's all about being, I don't know, well rounded game plan to, to win. And as a heavyweight, I don't think you gotta do that. I don't think they, they do that enough. Louisa, that's her. So did you I don't know if you heard this. Mike Perez, he's diesel right now. I no, I didn't have to hear it. I'd be watching him. No, but IG, he, that's my that's my man. I like he cool. I ain't my man, but he I, move he moving down to cruiserweight though. 
Yeah. That's a good move because he's not the tallest heavyweight. You think he can do some work down there? I think I think he should take a couple lesser opponents. You know what I'm saying? Because he never been down that far in weight. So you gotta see how your body perform at that weight. It's the same when you're trying to go down the weight as when you're coming up in weight. Tony Bellew versus Mike Perez. Fucking Mike Perez, man. Really? Yes. What about Tony Bellew versus Deontay Wilder? He he was saying that he kind of wanted to fight or hey, he's, listen, he has what, a better what brain. What he's Tell, getting talk confused about the weight. With, when he's getting confused with is with the David Hay win. The man tore his Achilles tendon during the fight. If he wouldn't have did that, he probably would have stopped you, Bellew. Bellew. Um, because David Hayes is a hard puncher so at the heavyweight. So going to his, to his head? Can't let that go to your head. Even though I, Baloo is nice, but he's been stopped at a lower weight against Adonis Stevenson. Stevenson. So, you know what I mean? That's just me speaking facts. But I don't. I wouldn't... Mike Perez is nice, but... And he said, so you think Deontay Wilder should be out of the question for Bellew to fight at heavyweight? Him, King Kong, Joshua, out of the question. And that's mostly because of the weight. If he want his fucking brains, that's out of the question. But oh, if he you. don't want his brains, get in there. Have fun. Get in there if you don't want your brains. If you want your brains and you want to be able to spend your money, don't get in there. So that's the, give, that's the choice? Give, give Antonio Tarver a fight. Oh, shit. Oh, I forgot something in there, too.